Hey there folks, today I have another short time-lapse video for you with a twist this time uh, Lots of pausing action as the, the settings for the time-lapse were wrong and the video turned out to be way shorter than I expected or in other words it uh, runs too fast So this time our video is uh, about leaks harvest I have published in the past summer videos about how we grow our leeks from seed about seed saving and also trimming the leeks as they grow so you can double your yield and get a better leek plant at the same time and I'll try to include links to those in the description but today we're doing a proper harvest of leeks where we are pulling out the mature leek plant out of the soil and then we store them for winter you can see that the leek bed is not really weeded and the grass from the pathways is creeping in but that is how currently is in our garden and it certainly does not seem to bother the leeks we had a bit of rain last week after almost uh, 50 dry days in autumn which is unheard of so the soil loosened up a bit and with the forecasted cold we decided it's time to harvest and store the leaks. You can see that I'm just quickly pulling them out and the wife is using a digging fork but that's not for the digging the leaks out. It's more for aerating the soil, just loosening up the clumps so it's better receptive to the rain and easier to pull the couch, gra the couch grass later. There is no turning action, no actual digging. At this point in the video, you can see at the far left how sticky our clay soil is. The digging fork, fork is completely covered with soil and uh, you have to scrape that off with another tool if you want to continue working. So after I've gathered all the leaks, I got a bucket with water so I can wash the roots a bit and also I clean and uh, remove all the uh, dry side leaves in the process it's not an absolute must but uh, I find it's way easier to store them that way and also easier to use them in winter when they are already clean each, leaks, each of the leek plants uh, gets a dip in the bucket and then a shake against the sides of the bucket and a quick peel and that's it in the same time I was as I was washing the leaks the wife harvested several other leftover leaks from another bed as uh, this one here didn't have enough space for all the seedlings we grew she also harvested and uh, brought to me for washing the last of the black turnips and also the white candle radishes which grew to a significant size this year, almost resembling a daikon radish. This isn't shown in the video, but all the clean leaks are bunched up and put upright, rose down in the same type of bucket as the one I'm using to wash them. And then I throw a few uh, shovels of clean and slightly moist sand in the bucket. So the sand in effect keeps the leaks upright and also keeps them fresh they store better that way if you keep them in a cool basement or maybe a root cellar so that's about it for today sorry about the constantly pausing time-lapse video and uh, be sure to check the other leaks videos which i'll link to in the description as usual let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. So that was all for today folks and I'll see you in the next one.